Your hand is ruining my picture. <laughs> Hi guys. So a few of you have asked me to make a video on my new and improved eyebrow routine. If you haven't noticed, I look bald. Hold up. Kind of fix this shit. Um, if you haven't noticed, my eyebrows have changed a lot over a period of like six months. Let me just kind of talk about what I use before getting into it. To grow out my eyebrows, I literally just let them go. I didn't pluck them for like a few months. And then I introduced a serum into my routine. And I mentioned it in my favorites video back in January, but I don't really know if it if it worked or not. And I'll link it below or I'll insert a picture because I, that's like the one thing I forgot called Grande Brow and it's supposed to help grow your eyebrows. Uh, I used it every single night for like a month and I would say it, it, it looked like it made a difference as far as growing, but my eyebrows are still pretty, pretty thin. They're not big and like bushy. So I just didn't pluck them, I let them go. That was pretty much all I, I did. Now for my actual routine, a couple things you will need, some soap. I'm gonna do the soap brows. You wanna make sure to get one of the clear soaps. Uh, the main ingredient is glycerin. Make sure it's like a clear type, not the white. Anything with like a lot of perfume or fragrance in it, you don't want that. Or a lotion, a hydrating lotion. Nothing like that. The brow products I use, it really just depends on my mood, but they're all powders. I go from MAC to the Makeup Forever, which this one I've been using a lot lately. As long as it's a powder, I feel like it works best. Pencil. I feel like for me, it doesn't it doesn't work out so well. And then you also need an angled brow brush with a spoolie. A spoolie is like a mascara wand, essentially. You can buy it at a beauty supply store. If you don't have money to go buy it or you don't have one at all, you could also use a mascara wand, like an old one. Just clean the mascara wand with some soap and water or brush cleaner, get nice and clean, and then use that as your spoolie or your eyebrow brush. Oh, and you also need some water, that too. And I normally do this before my foundation because when you get it wet and you put it into your eyebrows, it tends to get your makeup all wet and it just turns into a mess. So do it before your foundation. I do have a little bit of foundation on right now because I just, I wanted a clean canvas so you could focus on the brows and not my skin texture and all that. Okay, so I don't have water. <laughs> But I have a setting spray, the Smashbox Primer Water. You could just use water. You don't have to use a setting spray or anything. But I like to spray the soap, then take the spoolie, get it nice and soapy. And then I'm just going to brush my eyebrows upwards and the soap makes them look super fluffy, right? So I'm just brushing all of the hairs up. As soon as I get to the arch, I start now going to the side, like towards my hairline. And then the soap will also hold your hairs in place so they don't fall down throughout the day, which is a definite plus. So you just wanna let that sit and dry. I'm gonna do it again. Get my brush nice and soapy. Ugh. And then go into my other brow. I'm so glad that I let my eyebrows grow out because for a long time there I was doing the typical Instagram brows and then I I was just really over it. I didn't like how they looked on me. And then I started doing this and I like it so much more. I really like the big fat, like bushy brow look, the boy brows. So then you just wanna wait until the soap dries completely. Cause if you go in when it's still wet, it tends to move the brows and they won't stay up. So you just wanna wait until it's nice and dry. So now I'm just gonna wait. This is usually when I work on like the rest of my face and whatnot. Now you can see, I go over here, I definitely have spots to fill in. If you have thicker and darker brows, you can actually get away with like not filling them in as much. But I have some gaps that I need to fill in. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever uh, Pro Sculpting Brow Palette. Don't judge me, it's disgusting, but let me just live my life, okay? And I'm going to use this middle shade right here with my angle brow brush. I'm going to just do little lines to mimic hair and fill in some gaps. And then I'll kind of switch to the lighter shade and put that towards the front. 
because you don't want the brow to be too heavy and too dark in the in the front area. It can look really harsh. I'm using the spoolie side to blend the powder a little bit more. And then um, once I feel satisfied with the brow, then I just move on to the next one. It's really pretty simple. It's like, it's way easier than the, the old brow routine I used to do when it was very like carved out. I felt like it took me forever to do my eyebrows. Now with this, it just takes me like, I don't know, just a few minutes. Just way easier for me. I like it and I like how it looks, whatever. Okay, next brow. I'm gonna just do the same thing on the this brow. But this one has more gaps. So I like to start where I need it most. If you don't have like any brows and your brows aren't growing, you wanna use something that is heavy duty and waterproof so it will stick to the skin and wear all day. So something like, um, I used to use uh, that Wonder Brow gel. That stuff was really good because it didn't come off. Or the um, Anastasia Brow Pomade. I personally haven't used it on myself, but I used to use it on clients all the time, and that works well. The key is really just little flicks, like hair-like flicks, so it doesn't look so drawn in. It just mimics hair. So these are my brows once I filled them all in. Sometimes I'll put gloss in my eyebrows. So I remember reading in an article, this was a few years ago, that Elizabeth Taylor, her makeup artist, used to put gloss at the arch of her eyebrow to add like dimension and some light. So sometimes I'll put gloss in my brows. So I have this one by e.l.f. You wanna do like obviously something that's not that thick and not that sticky. And it's mainly used for pictures, not like an everyday type of thing but I'll wear it every day, to be honest. It just depends on my mood. And I love a young Elizabeth Taylor. So I pop a little bit of a gloss. Ooh, you see it? Kinda, not really. I can see it. It's like, it's barely there, you can't really tell, but it's what I like to do. If it brings me a little bit closer to Elizabeth Taylor, then so be it. As long as it's not a sticky gloss, your hair won't get stuck in it or anything like that, so don't worry about that. Don't use any gloss that is like too dark or anything. You wanna use something more clear and nude. And there you go. That's how I do my eyebrows. They look like caterpillars and I like them like that, personally. Um, it's pretty easy, you can't mess it up. Well, you can, but it, it's really easy. Embrace the natural brow. So I hope you like this video, this little tutorial. Give it a try, let me know what you think. And I hope you have a great day today. Make good choices and I'll see you guys later.